Hello, this is a Lockthon Plays, and the Kronos Visage just unlocked in the Quicksilver store. This is the one for the iteration who acts like Gordon Ramsay, uh, up here, to whom you take your cooking uh, items to get raided over there. So, let's see what these op options are. All right. As with all of the track, with all of the Quicksilver visages that don't require a helmet, you need to be a traveler in order to do this. And um, I haven't bought all the visages yet, so that's why I don't have very many numbers up here. So for me, this is head number 11. For you, it might be 15 or 16. And I apologize for the eyes not showing up. That's really kind of disturbing. But um, I just rebooted my PS4 and it didn't bring them back, so. I'm not sure if this is a bug or if my graphics card is just un unhappy with me. But since we have the same number of eye options as we normally do, let's assume that the option for eye zero is the black orbs, one is the fa fairly human eye, etc, etc. So let's see, uh, with just more kinks set to zero, um, the primary color, not too surprising covers most of, of the head. The secondary color almost always uh, is the eyes. I don't see anything else blue on, on the face and often when marking zero is selected the accent color doesn't do anything. And I think that's true in this case as well. So let's try markings one. Well nothing's changed in front but we got a whole bunch of spots on the back on the back of the neck. So let's see if that's what's changing with yes so the accent color and markings one is changing how the spots look on the back of the neck interesting I wonder if this stuff coming out of the visage's mouth is supposed to be there or if that's my graphics card again okay so markings two is the it looks like the markings that they use on the NPC uh, it has a bunch of uh, salamander uh, markings on the face, uh, which are, which the colors are uh, uh, controlled by the accent color. And there's some on the back of the head. It controls the neck. Some on the chin. Uh, we can't get down any lower than that. And then markings three is a tattoo. Interesting. Okay, so does accent does the accent color change the color of the tattoo? No, that changes the color of the back of the neck, but the front, the main head, is still controlled by the, the primary color. So, there's not a lot going on with this head. Um, but it's pretty interesting. I like the heads that, that have some sort of accoutrement like like these ear phones, earplugs, um, and I and I always like to have facial tat t tattoos. I, I I think that's a a, a nice uh, thing to have brought into the visages. So, okay, what I do next is I almost always go check what the NPC that they have set up uh, looks like. They're really close over here. So this is Kronos. And you can see what the, I think those are the eyes uh, that are number one, and they're set to yellow. And they have the salamander looking spots uh, with a mostly green head and maybe some yellow in there. It's kind of tough to tell because the lighting up there is yellow. But okay, I'm, I'm going to uh, flip over to uh, the camera here, and this often makes things really jerky, I apologize for that. You can see what the back of, of the head looks like in this setting. So, I hadn't ever noticed that the mouth split down the front before, and I, I, I guess that saliva is actually on the model and not just my graphics card. This actually reminds me of a character from Mass Effect, the data broker, but I can't remember what that race is called. The, the split mouth, I mean, and, and all the all the teeth. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing. 
anyway, so uh, there's only one visage left, I believe, and that's Ariadne, who's, who's, who's down in front. Um, and then once we get that visage, I think we're done with the existing visages on on the next or on the anomaly. So I don't know what's going to happen after that. Could be interesting. But this should be the one that starts to unlock this next week. I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Or have we had that one already? You know, I don't even remember. But anyway, uh, we're getting close to the end of the visages that are available on the Anomaly. And I'm very interested to see what Hello Games does after that. Thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to hit subscribe, that would be great. But if not, that's totally cool too. I hope this helps you decide whether you want to spend your Quicksilver on these visages or not. I'm just checking if Ariadne's already been done. And they haven't. So, um, so that's the last one, which we will see next week. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.